There's a bee in there. That's good. Squash and zucchini and cantaloupe and stuff like that, they need to be German or pollinated by bees mostly. Else they just won't even produce fruit. They're starting to flower. Bees are out. That's good. You even got a zucchini growing on some of them. Over here, got a lot growing on the other ones. They were planted sooner. Some tomatoes. They're not doing that bad. that was. Don't have no tomato worms yet. That's good. This is a kale plant that went to seed. Letting the seeds mature and then I'm gonna get rid of it and put something else there. Been having a lot of this problem with these leaves curl up like this. I don't know if it's from over watering but they don't seem like they're getting over watered. If anybody knows what causes that on the tomatoes, let me know. I decided to make a video right now because it's been windy for the last week. This is the first chance I got to make a video since I got back from California. Just covered the corn with some dead grass. Keep it covered the soil so it doesn't get scorched. They need lots of water. I got other squash plants coming up, or uh, I think they're butternut squash. That's regular squash. These here are not doing so well. I think they're butternut. Had an issue with the potatoes. I think it's because they're only getting watered once a day. Started watering them twice a day and looks like they're doing better. I covered them with some mulch. Some of them might just be done now. Who knows? If they just completely die off, I'll harvest them then. I decided to do a video to show just how everything's coming along the last three three weeks since I did the last one. I tried something new here this morning. I put some direct worm castings. Pile of them around the base of this to see if they hurt. See if they hurt the t tomatoes or make them giant. We'll see. Just watering this morning, waiting for the wind to pick up. Like I said, it was the first chance I got to do a video where it wasn't completely windy. I did a lot of transplanting. Put a lot of the zucchini and the butternut squash. Into the ground. Here's the good ones. They're doing nice. Already harvested a few off of here. Fully matured ones. Uh oh, looks like a zucchini bug already. <sighs> Gonna kill those guys on sight. They stink too. I 
You don't want to get infestations. You want to look underneath these leaves and make sure they don't start laying millions of eggs. Now you've seen one. Got to keep looking for them. They'll kill these zucchini plants. Oh, radish getting ready to go to seed. <laughs> 